Inference in Bayesian nonparametric models is often hard due to the trade-off between exactness and computation. Traditional methods tend to be exact but slow, especially in the setting of large-scale data. I will now present you our work on slice sampling in the broad class of Bayesian nonparametric models that is both exact and enables efficient parallelized computation. Discrete nonparametric models have been widely used in numerous unsupervised settings. Let's say we're analyzing a movie database. In nonparametric clustering, we assume there are potentially infinitely many genres, and each movie belongs to one genre. Here we have Johnny English being a comedy, Kung Fu Panda being an animation, and Captain America being an action movie. However, some of these movies may be better represented by a combination of genres weighted by different amounts. So for example, Johnny English is mostly comedy but still has some action sequences. That is, we assume movies are generated from infinitely many genres, but unlike in clustering, each movie can now belong to many overlapping genres. In the Bayesian paradigm, we assume the rates of genres occurring in the movies of this database follow some nonparametric distribution. This, however, makes the exact inference slow. Our work circumvents this issue with parallelized computation. The model that we consider in this paper is as follows. Let the trace space be the real line. We generate this infinite sequence of rate trait pairs from a Poisson process with mean measure mu. We define theta as a measure that assigns mass theta k to the trait psi k. The distribution that theta follows is also called a completely random measure. Now we ignore the trace space and only look at the rates. Let's define xnk as the degree to which data n exhibit trait k. x is generated from the likelihood function h by taking values from the set of natural numbers. Let's define the measure that assigns integer mass xnk to trait psi as xn. Then we generate data yn using its trait allocation xn. There are three major ways to infer this model. One is through marginalization. This is an exact method that integrates out the infinite completely random measure, but it's not parallelizable due to newly introduced dependencies and by nature relies on conjugate assumptions. Another is truncation. This method is inexact, but since the original dependencies are preserved, this method is parallelizable. Moreover, truncation by certain representations of the completely random measures does not rely on conjugate assumptions. Slice sampler is an exact MCMC method that augments the model with independent draws of uniform auxiliary variables while preserving the graphical dependencies and is therefore parallelizable. Since no integration is involved, this method does not rely on any conjugate assumption. Slice sampler has been previously applied to nonparametric models on a case-by-case -case basis. Previous work on slice sampler for Dirichlet process augments the model by independently sampling uniform auxiliary variables conditional on the frequencies, but this relies on the property of the Dirichlet process that the frequencies sum to one. Previous work on slice sampler for Indian buffet process is based on the sig breaking representation that samples one uniform auxiliary variable conditional on the length of the minimum active stick. This is not parallelizable due to the dependencies introduced by the single auxiliary variable and relies on the fact that stick breaking representation for Indian buffet process is monotonically decreasing. Previously, slice sample was also developed for the beta negative binomial process that samples from a deterministic sequence selected by the last occupied index. Although this method is parallelizable and does not make any assumption on the rates, this representation by itself is inefficient and generates higher truncation error. Unlike previous methods that works on a case-by-case -case basis, we developed a method similar to the work of Kelly et al. that uses a deterministic sequence, but does not make any assumption on the rates. And therefore, works for general completely random measures. 
Our slide sampler is based on the series representation and is known to have low truncation error. We use Poisson process theory to collapse out the infinite tail of this completely random measure in order to resample the last active stick. If you're interested in how this is done, please come to the poster after my presentation. Unlike the method that draws a single auxiliary variable out of all rates by Te et al., we generate independent draws of auxiliary variables, and our algorithm is therefore parallelizable. Our first experiment is based on synthetic data generated from the Gaussian latent factor model. We constrain ourselves to the identifiable models with increasing dimensions as the number of observations increases. Our method generates an effective sample size per second that scales better than the accelerated collapse samplers by Doshi Villas et al., as you can see on the left. Moreover, our method quickly selects the right truncation level, and this can be seen by measuring the predictive performance on a held out dataset compared to truncations, as you can see on the right. Since serial computation is used for comparison, the gap represents a lower bound on the differences as parallelization will increase this gap. Our second experiment analyzed a new ROPS corpus from 2010 to 2015. As we increase the number of documents, our method consistently generates higher effective sample size per second, as you can see on the left. It also generates higher quality prediction measured by perplexity compared to the size sampler of Broderick et al. for beta negative binomial process as you can see on the right. So what have we discussed? Inference is hard on trade allocation models with completely random measures as priors. We developed a method that is exact, parallelizable, and works with general, non-conjugate, completely random measures. Our empirical results demonstrate higher effective sample size per second and better prediction quality. Past methods only works on a case-by-case -case basis and are inefficient. Future work can be done on adaptation of the slice sampler based on the choice of the deterministic sequence, developing split merge moves for faster mixing, embedding this algorithm into a probabilistic programming engine, and investigating consistency or inconsistency of non-parametric trade allocation models by simulations. Thanks for your attention.